Hi, this is Obese Hamster Films, and today I'm going to show you how to install the throttle cable on a pocket bike engine. First of all, you need to take this cap off. And the spring out, and set those both aside. In the hole, you'll see the fuel needle and washer. And there's also a metal jacket in there that needs to be removed to install the cable. So I'll be back after that's out. Okay, I got the metal jacket out here. As you can see. And here's the metal jacket. It shouldn't be too hard to get out. You just need to line up the slot on the washer that's on the fuel pin with this slot and then stick a screwdriver down in there and press up against the side and pull it out it shouldn't be jammed in there or anything now set to the side and we're going to feed the throttle cable through the cap you want to make sure that the cable that comes out of the sleeve is actually going to be long enough to go through this because it has to go quite a ways take the cap and feed the line through the rubber and then when you get to the jacket itself you have to kind of wiggle it through there and keep on pushing it through until it stops on the metal and then take the spring and feed that on there you should like that now take the metal jacket and turn it upside down here there's a hole on it here at the bottom of the slot the end of the throttle cable fits into that hole just like that Okay, now take the other end of the throttle cable and pull this, you know, up against it and hold it there. I'll set this aside for a second to show where this goes and how it's supposed to go in. In this hole, there are some pins. There's a smaller pin near the top of the hole that you can see right there. And then there's a bigger pin at the bottom of the hole. On this metal jacket, it has a larger cutout and then it has this groove. You want the little groove to be aligned with the small pin at the top of the hole and then the bigger groove on the back to be aligned with this bigger pin in the bottom. So you just stick it in the hole, stick the fuel pin in the hole and make sure those are aligned and then you can stick the cap on and screw it on. And there we go. Should be working right now. Yep. And that's how it's done.